Salute from Big Nocturnal. What's happening? Boxing After Dark. Nocturnal Thoughts. What's happening, everybody? I salute you. All my new subscribers, man. I appreciate y'all subscribe. I appreciate y'all time. Um, I'm going to just talk about a, a few quick things on my mind. And then I'm going to get out y'all way. Uh, but this is going to be another real quick video. I don't have a lot of life on my phone right now. I'm super busy. Everything, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, that's why life is full of adversities. I feel like everything that could go wrong with me trying to make this video was trying to go wrong. And you just got to be able to overcome. And not big things, but little things. Time. Uh, I got other priorities. I was going to make the video outside. Mosquitoes was eating me up. You know what I'm saying? Um, just getting sidetracked. And I also was trying to pay attention to these other videos that I wanted to watch before I made this video. Didn't get an opportunity. And then basically pretty much just my time got crunched into where I wanted to get this one out the way. Get this downloaded off my mind. You know what I'm saying? And get back to what I was doing and go about my day. So I'm going to go ahead and do this video. Salute y'all for watching. And I appreciate y'all time ahead of time. But I want to talk about Keith Thurman calling out Errol Spence. Telling Errol Spence that he needed to, you know what I'm saying, um, fight him or he was not considered to be, you know, a top welterweight. I heard that was a conversation that was being talked about and I didn't get the opportunity to put my two cents in on it. So I just want to talk about that now because to me it's better than talking about some of the other things that are a little bit more insidious that's been on my mind lately but everything's been all good i had a real good weekend uh life has been real good you know what i'm saying there's no complaints i've been very appreciative of you know what i'm saying being blessed being happy um so i don't want to just harp on anything that's sinister or anything that's negative you know what i'm saying i don't always i don't have to have negative things to fuel me and to motivate me sometimes it comes and you do get fueled by the fodder of somebody that's just naturally a, a negative person but i don't need that so anyways let's talk about my thoughts let me talk about my opinion on keith thurman calling out errol spence i have to say i agree that, sh that he should be campaigning. He should be calling out Errol Spence. I feel like Keith Thurman is in a position where he must stay relevant. And, you know, I cannot default. I cannot say, you know, he's been, he cannot be defined by one loss. There's been a layoff. Um, I don't agree with some of the ways he decides to, you know what I'm saying, uh, express his thoughts. He When he did an interview where they talked about him fighting Terrence Bud Crawford, the way he said, Terrence Bud Crawford knows what's up. He can get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm taking on all oncomers for him to say that and then in the same breath in the same breath in the same sentence say but i do have to respect that terrence Bird crawford is a champion competitor and i would like to have a tune-up fight before i fight you know to me that was like back stepping back pedaling out of you know what i'm saying saying something at first that I had to salute where you was like, I fight Terrence Bud Crawford, you know, name the place, name the time. And, but then you quickly reneged and said, but I have to be realistic. I'm coming off of a surgery. I, I would rather have a tune up. See, that's when I started look. That's when I'm looking at Keith Thurman saying, if you're not ready, you're not ready. You can't call people out and then say, but I need to have soft touches and tune-up fights before I fight this guy. In the same sentence, I just feel like there's no room for you to argue that you can compete with the top, but you feel like you have to go 
and have tune-up matches in between. We've seen what happened when you've had a tune-up fight and then stepped up to a mega fight. You know what I'm saying? We've seen what happened when you fought Jose Zito Lopez and then jumped up to fight Manny Pacquiao. So we don't need to see you fight another tune-up fight and then get in the ring with Errol Spence. But with that being said, I have to say, he's only lost one time. And as a box, box, boxing fan in the boxing community, we cannot have our cake and eat it too. Either one fight doesn't destroy and tarnish your whole career, or it does. I remember like when um when when we had this matchup, it was it looked like to be an underdog matchup. It was Swift Herb about to fight Julian J. Rock Williams. And Julian J. Rock J. Rock had been knocked out by Jamar Charlo. When he won, unexpectedly to some people. I feel like to most people, but when he won and in the fashion that he won against Swift Herb, when the announcer, when the, when the you know commentator put the microphone in front of Julius, he say, or Julian, he says, I want to change the narrative. I want to change the narrative, you know, basically saying that the whole Floyd Mayweather narrative of being undefeated does not define a fighter people counted me out when i got beat by jamar charlo you know so uh when he fought and won against swift herd you know he's back on top so we can't just start to look at these fighters after one loss and and throwing them in the trash now that's really 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 paraphrasing he didn't say anything like that but he said something in in that ballpark Basically saying, you know, stop just throwing away these fighters after they lose one time. You know what I'm saying? And it goes back and forth. Like, who was ready to throw away uh, Anthony Joshua when he lost to Andy Ruiz? You know what I'm saying? Who's ready right now to throw away Deontay Wilder when he only lost one time to um, Tyson Fury? You know what I'm saying? So we can't, we have to, it can't, you know what I'm saying? I know there's double standards in boxing to each is his or her own for me personally i have to digest all the factors i can and when i look when i look at keith thurman the way he lost to manny pacquiao i really can't throw him out you can't throw out the baby with the bath water i feel like keith thurman still has a valid point in the fact that the top guys when he was at the top they're still the same top guys. The top guys really haven't rotated and changed that much. And the guys that's at the top of the welterweight, besides Terrence Bud Crawford, he's fought them and competed with them and beat them. He only lost to Manny Pacquiao. He beat Sean Porter, and Sean Porter is still the parameter. Sean Porter is still the truth machine in the welterweight division. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't fought Errol Spence. But Errol Spence hasn't fought Danny Garcia. Now, we can all have our opinion on how that fight's going to go. But we don't know until it's done. Until he shows and proves. So, Keith Thurman has beat Danny Garcia. He's beat Sean Porter. I think he beat Sean Porter twice. Holler back in the comments to confirm that. <laughs> he beat Sean Porter twice. He beat Danny Garcia. He had a tough, close fight with Manny Garcia. It only looks to be where it wasn't close because people highlight the knockdown in the first round and they highlight that gut shot he took in the later rounds, 10 or 11. But if everything in the middle of that fight was a very close competitive fight. So I feel like he can still give Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Manny Pacquiao, uh, a real competitive close fight now can he overcome and can he win because Keith Thurman keeps saying you haven't seen the best of Keith Thurman you haven't seen the be best of Keith Thurman I really feel like he he took Manny Pacquiao and overlooked him because of his age 
and because of him being shorter and having that little short, he was calling him T-Rex and saying he do the pop, 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 pop. I really thought that Keith Thurman underestimated Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? And he and once he got that flash knockdown and was embarrassed, it was the first time his wife came to see him fight. He was embarrassed. I think he tried to, you know what I'm saying, get back some grounds. He tried to get back some grounds. He gained some grounds. He was delivering some very, very hard shots. And Manny Pacquiao just kept walking through those shots. But um, he wasn't blown out. He, he Manny Pacquiao didn't blow out Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? It was a closer match than what some people gave it credit. You know? So, I'm saying all that to say this. He's in a position right, right now where the only person that's going to keep him relevant is himself. Nobody else is going to campaign for Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? But he has to, he has to land on something. He can't say, I will fight this guy, but I need to have a tune-up first. Either he has to fight this guy now, or he has to say, I want him fight and I'm ready to fight now, or he has to understand that these guys, are his, his career might be selling off. Because I don't see, I don't think he's been knocked off to where he has to go down and fight the young and up and coming talent. Like he, I don't think he, he, he paid his dues. I don't feel like he should have to go back and fight a Virgil Ortiz Jr. or a Jerron Boots Ennis. I feel like he should still be campaigning to fight the top guys, the Errol Spences and Sean Porters. That would make the most sense. That would make the most sense, in my opinion. Him trying to make a case to fight Sean Porter. Because Sean Porter coming off of a loss from Errol Spence, who is Sean Porter going to fight? Terrence Bud Crawford doesn't seem to really want to make a, a fight between him and Sean Porter. Um, Danny Garcia and Errol Spence right now, they're busy making their plans to fight each other from what it seems like. Keith Thurman should be calling for a trilogy match with Sean Porter. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure they fought twice already. You know what I'm saying? Correct me if I'm wrong. But like I said, after COVID-19, it might be just a time to have these trilogy matches. So if I'm right, correct me if I'm right too. Let me know if I'm right. If they fought twice, he should be calling for a trilogy. Sean Porter needs to fight. He needs to fight somebody to make a, another run for the belts. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think Errol Spence is going to fight him anytime soon. If I was Errol Spence, I would be trying to fight Keith Thurman. That would be a tune-up fight for him, in my opinion. He's coming off, Keith Thurman coming off of a loss against Manny Pacquiao and having some time off. But he still has a name and he still has a gift to gab and he can make a a lot of noise and draw a lot of attention to that fight. He's still only been defeated one time. Him and, and Errol Spence, and I've said this before, him and Errol Spence could be a, to me, would be a bigger fight than Danny Garcia. He's already, Keith Thurman can say, why would you fight Danny Garcia if I've already beaten Danny Garcia? See what I'm saying? And Danny Garcia really does, doesn't sell a fight out. You know what I mean? Danny Garcia, he doesn't have a lot of personality. Keith Thurman has personality. Earl Spence doesn't really have a big personality to draw a lot of people. He has the fighting style that draws a lot of people in. But you put together the mouthpiece of Keith Thurman and you put together the talent of Earl Spence, I think that would make a great fight, a big fight. Closest thing to it would be Earl Spence fighting Terrence Bud Crawford. But we all you know how, know how that's going and how we're going to be kind of waiting for that similar to like a Manny Pacquiao versus um, Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying all that to say this. Keith Thurman, he's lost one time. It was a close fight. He's had long layoff. He's double talked. You know what I'm saying? He has double talked. So I can only, you know, blame him. He can only blame himself for double talking to having people, you know, kind of saying we're kind of done with Keith Thurman and his ponytail and all this. You dig what I'm saying? I understand that type of a talk. But when I look at it from, from my point of view, from my nocturnal thought point of view, I say Keith Thurman and Errol Spence should go at it. And Errol Spence should, after trying to go at, I mean, he's been trying to go at Keith Thurman since the Mayweather days. I remember when Mayweather said, 
Keith Thurman, if you want to fight me, this is before Keith, this is before Mayweather fought um, Andre Berto. Keith Thurman was Keith Thurman was calling out Mayweather, and people was feeling like that he would beat Mayweather. He was one time at that time. He was one time, and Mayweather said, "I tell you what, fight and beat Earl Spence Jr. If you win that fight, I give you a title match." And Keith Thurman did not want any piece of Errol Spence. So when you got Errol Spence, who's been seeking to destroy Keith Thurman, I understand that when Errol Spence turned the tables and now it's the other way around, he's saying, no, nah, you ducked me. You didn't give me a shot. So now I'm not going to give you a shot. I understand that mentality. But at the same time, I would feel like Keith Thurman was unfinished business. And if I was Errol Spence, I would say, matter of fact, what's going to happen is after I fight Danny Garcia, if I can't make this fight happen with Manny Pacquiao or I can't make this fight happen with um, Terrence Bud Crawford, Keith Thurman, step up to the plate. You've had plenty of time to rehabilitate your injuries. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's settle this beef once and for all. And then I would bang those guts out the frame. You know what I'm saying? I would I would I would I would Rocky, I would do the Rocky in the in the damn um meat shop and I would tenderize those ribs and I would break Keith Thurman down and break him in half and then, you know what I'm saying, put him on the boat and sell him off. That's what I would do if I was Errol Spence. I would say, All right, it's not it's now it's time to step up. I would almost say, let's cancel this Danny Garcia situation and let's go ahead and take care of this business now, if I was Errol Spence. So, anyways, I appreciate y'all time. Uh, like always, my videos stretch out a little bit longer than I tend to, but I appreciate those who pay attention and, and listen. And, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, they're real relate. And, you know, let's, let's, let's keep it love. Let's keep it respect. And let's, let's kill the hate, man. Everybody, each one, teach one. Nocturnal thoughts, I salute. I appreciate you. I'm out. Peace. Blessings.